I messed up on this one and like every other one because they dummy fit at the bottom. So. All right, so this is the aftermath. Like after I cured it and everything, unfortunately, like it's giving like an ashy around like my yeah you see it anyways but like i try to you know file it and make it look noisy for me hold on hold on wait for it yeah make it look nice and shit so i try but it's the under part for me like look at that i look like gum dude like that's what's throwing me anyways yeah Everything that came in it, so I'm just gonna start using it. quick this product right here i don't know if i could clearly see it let me check um uh, so i'm gonna just put like a little screenshot or whatever but this product right here it's weird like i use it for like something that i thought it could be used for but it just makes the poly gel like very hard and kind of like stings just a little bit you know this is the the base coat the top coat all that pretty stuff and then i have the nails right here that i used this morning to do my nails so i'm just going to use it on this hand as well so what happens is i take the gel i put it in the thing and then i press it on my nail and then it goes and then i hold it and i put it under the uv light and then it holds and then like i'm gonna do a technique that the lady taught how to do so basically these would have been way more lumpier and everything if i didn't like you know try to smooth it out during the cure but again, I'm probably going to like, probably, maybe going to do a voiceover on what I'm talking about. You know you might so yeah. And I use this. Well, not this part. I use this side to do like the whole, yeah. But it was still like making it hard. Like look, the brush is not even moving. The brush is barely you know even moving. This. Like that's how dangerous this product is or whatever the heck was happening with all that but yeah so i'm just gonna start and i'm probably gonna time lapse so you guys can just watch me do the nails and i'll be back okay hold on let me chill all right so before my lighting was pretty bad i am still gonna put that audio just to show y'all the importance of lighting but anyways we're just gonna continue this is something i learned from watching videos and stuff like that because you know, COVID came around, you know, so people got bored, started learning things, started doing things. So this is one of the things that I kind of like self-taught. Well, I was self-learning, whatever. YouTube, YouTube um, University, you feel me? I was on YouTube University trying to learn it. And then like, I kind of died it down because you know, we was back outside with the shit. So, you know, the appointments was up from there. 
And then like my best friend recently, she purchased something and I was like, girl, send me the link because it's not every day I'm gonna have a good 60 to spend on the level of nails I wanna do, so. But I do always want my nails done, which is just something about me, so. So now I'm just gonna take this little paper and I'll put alcohol on it, like I saw him doing a video. And I'm just gonna take off the excess um, ash off and probably clean around my fingers like you see it. So as you can see, the first set of nails is done. Sorry. The first set of nails are done from this morning. And then now I just clocked out and I was like, let me do the other set of nails because I just look real awkward, which is more pair of nails done. So I'll be back when I'm starting to put all the pretty stuff. Just gonna make a quick vlog about me trying to do my nails. And then I'm gonna do another one if y'all want and I'll show y'all like a different color and stuff. 